No, for me it makes no sense at all. He had a great season. Uh, the way he's playing football, I think, suits every team. There's no tactical uh, uh, schema which doesn't allow it to that he's not in the not in the first eleven or even in the squad. Um, no, that was surprising for me. I think for a lot of people it was surprising, but um, I think. To get a final answer, you have to ask the coach Yogi Löw what was his thoughts about that. I mean, he said uh, um, he was comparing him with Brandt, and, and in a one v one comparison, uh, he decided for Brandt. I think, I think that's not the hundred percent answer. To, to be honest, there must be something going on behind the scenes uh, where he was not happy with with Leroy Sané uh, to actually make this decision. Uh, but he should tell it then, uh, that everyone knows that's happened and that's why he's not part of the squad because from a football-wise it's, it's difficult to, to understand. And how do you compare this squad to the squad of um, you know, four years ago and how do you compare the squad to your squads as well when you played in the World Cup? Compared to the last World Cup 2014, we lost some leaders, yeah, definitely, with Philipp Lahm, Miroslav Klose, Mertes Acker, um, yeah, Schweinsteiger is not playing anymore, this is, this is leaders which you have to replace, this is not easy, you know, it's not an, uh, a walk from one day to the other, it needs time, and, uh, but uh, we have a few players who actually were part of the, f the former team and having this rule now with, with Müller, Neuer, uh, also Hummels, um, they, they, they can lead the team and uh, also young players coming in, you know, Draxler, uh, yeah, Goretzka, these, these kind of players. Uh, giving giving the team a bit um, a speciality and uh, hopefully yeah it can work out as well.